And I'm back with more Legend of Mana. And I'm at currently at the jungle. You may notice I'm a little higher level. I've grabbed Ellie. But off screen, I've actually created the gold. Now, the way that works is you had to buy a whole bunch of equipment or find a bunch of equipment. So I did a little bit of grinding off screen at the uh, Tower of Layers, get some knives and some other stuff from some enemies gathered a gold spear and some other things and I crafted a golem. So I have his logic block here as best I could. It's a uh, hover, rocket missile, chainsaw, chain spear, stuff. So basically you have to mix around a lot of weapons and equipment or instruments to get some stuff for him to use. Um, his color is unfortunately the default color, but he's decent enough strength-wise. And again, you only really need him for, uh, act for like one or two missions that require a third party member, so that's really why I'm using him. But from here on out, we're going to be focusing on the main story arcs. So I'm gonna try for lo longer episodes. My sister went to the Courtyard of Rain to check in on the fairies. Well, guess we gotta go do that. So now that we're in the main story arc, I'm gonna focus on the fairy, then the dragon arc, And then the Jumi arc with Elazul and Pearl and Sandra, the thief. But we're back here in a level 3 area. It's been a couple of days since I recorded, but I don't think this is going to be a problem in this area. But I'm going to try and do multiple uh, sections in an episode to save time. So now I'm going to try and make longer episodes, I suppose. Hmm. Hmm. Um. I mean, I wasn't going to get lost anyway. Interesting. Where is Selkie? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, Selkie, nice to meet you. Do you want to, like, get rid of that evil spell? Will, will you do me a favor? Yay! Look, here's the evil the evil spell. The the fairies, in, the fairies in the forest have been acting weird. So, could you, like, figure out why? Okay, I will. No, thank you. No problem. <laughs> and now we've started. Uh-oh. Um... Okay. Well, I guess we gotta go in now. Uh, this piece of trash doesn't have any elemental powers. We need one stronger to become our queen. Bring me the priestess of Gato Temple. The million old hag? That one? But Lord Irwin said she was 26. That's far too young. Perhaps he mistook her age? After all, our last queen was 28,700. Wow. The new queen's human. They only live for... Try a tenth of that. At best. That short? I hear it's even shorter. You can be. Why has Lord Irwin chosen an, a human? What are you doing to her? Oh, God! Oh, man. 
Are you all right? Huh? You! Take her to Raziati. She should be the east of here. He is a wisdom. You'll be able to help her. The nuns must walk on our own two feet. We don't need to rely on wisdoms. Whoa. Yeah. Damned fairies. Since when were they in league with Erwin? This is the fairies' forest. And you'd best leave. We must not start another war between humans and fairies. Try to avoid confrontation, if you can. Well, he went, he ran this way, so... Okay. Mm. Oh, uh... Why not? Gotta at least show up a little bit. Yeah, because now I'm in the mode to do the thing. Hooray! They do some work, I get all the profits. I don't think there's much profits to be had, and it's level three. <laughs> what are you? You want to fight? What's oh, a filthy human doing here? Get out of my sight! Strange. A human was just here looking for Lord Irwin. Lord Irwin's lived with the land of fairies for the last ten years. His demon blood in him, the mark of true power. He is the future king of both our worlds. That's all I will tell you. Now leave or I will punish you. You shall be punished. Level 24, okay. Yes. Call that punishment. How's this for punishment? I mean, that golem's not helping a whole bunch. Uh, there we go. Nope. Okay then, well, at least... At least Ellie decided to help a little bit. Oh, there he goes, he punched him. Totally helping. <laughs> totally helping. Well, that's how the fairies, like, really hate humans. What should we do, Raziati? <laughs> Uh, I think he's asleep. Duh. Well, I guess whatever it'll be, it'll be. Is you okay with that? So, say hello to Escat. He is a meanie. He's a big, big, big meanie with a mean streak. But he's justified in his meanness. But like I said, I'm going to try and do at least two episodes in a row instead of just making these really super, super short. Because these main story arcs could be anywhere from five to nine missions. I'm going to say the average is about six. So... And that's including the things we've done already. So... We may not be seeing Ellie for some time, if ever again, unfortunately. Which does suck. I like her, but... Fairy forest fun? Mm, maybe. Yeah, 
Fairy Forest Fun. Yeah, we're doing the thing. And I'm scratching my head. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Murmuring Forest. Today's adventure was in the jungle where the fairies live. The long-haired human was there again, or is it just me who's the trouble view at brewing? I must be psychic. Yeah, yeah, you psychic, all right. Yay, I'm psychic! So, main thing with this is it's a lot of gato. A lot, a lot of gato. You bounce around from area to area, but um, the dra the dragon thing is a lot of bouncing around. The other two arcs are based out of gato and geo mostly. So we're going to be seeing a lot of gato, and we have yet to open up geo yet. We're going to save that until we can get the best equipment there, because might as well get platinum stuff while we can. It's been a while. But we've heard of Escad and Erwin. Hmm. Oh. Hello. Do you know a guy named Escad? He's an old friend of Matilda's, and it seems he's finally come back. But he's in there, so I'll let you through. Two torches. Matilda. It's only been ten years since I went to the Underworld. How is it possible you aged so much? I said, you were alive. It's been ten years now since I lost my two precious friends. You and... Erwin, stop thinking about that demon. He took away your elemental powers to fuel his own ambitions. It's his fault you've aged so much, isn't it? I'm not as unhappy as you think. Who's there? So you overheard us. I guess you know everything now. Good for you. Get out of here. Haven't you said enough? It's about time you left anyway. I learned the way of the sword from... Bon, the ruler of the underworld, if you recall. It's his will as a wisdom to kill that demon. Scad, I've enjoyed to know that both you are alive. We just leave the past behind us now. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen. I'm warning you, he's not to be trusted. about Erwin. Erwin, Scad, Matilda, and I all grew up together. Matilda was born into a family of priests, and Escad knights. My family long served as protectors of the temple. Erwin has demon blood in him, but that's all we really knew. Of course, blood and social status aren't really all that important. Matilda always treated Escad and Erwin the exact same. And Escad resented that so much that he tried to kill Erwin in the mines. But it was Escad who ended up in the underworld. Despite what Escad might say, he's the one who started this. Uh, what the 
help? Huh? Um. Just want to help the other nun that's there? What the? Our Lord commands it! No! Stop! What the fuck? Darn it! There was no nun. Or someone in disguise. Help me find Matilda! Abbas Matilda's been kidnapped! Close off all the exits! Huh? You work for Erwin, don't you? What are you gonna do to her? I nearly do as Lord Erwin bids. Too bad for you. <laughs> Damn it! Sort of magic isn't enough to escape oldy life things like this. Come on! Also, Dana's kind of a cat person. She's gonna do the Isla thing where she runs across the somewhat runs across the ground, sometimes not. It's gonna half and half, it looks like. Where's the sealed room at? I lost them. This place was too vast to search. They might be in hiding, waiting for us to give up and leave. There's a sealed room we haven't searched yet. Could they be hiding in there? It's sealed. How are we supposed to get in? I can arrange for it to be open in case of emergency. We might still have gotten away. I'm going to keep looking. I can take you to the sealed room if you like. What do you want to do? Okay, I'll take you to the steps leading there. Hooray for quick moves! <laughs> you walked right into the trap. Is this a joke? You'll be laughing on the other side of your face when I'm done with you. <laughs> this Matilda, we must bring her to safety. This way. That's right. Keep her away from the battle, but I'll get her back. You can look after her for now. But this show is about to begin. <laughs> I'll take her to her nap. Shall we start the party? Oh, it's you. Hello. Oh, hey. I know how to fight you. Ah! Maybe not. I ran into a bowling ball of doom. Hey, he's got that move. That's, that's not fair. You can play that game. Dana might... No, she moved in the wrong way. Oh, stop licking me. You're showing off, buddy. I don't like it. Yeah, Mr. Golem friend isn't really helping. Isn't really doing a whole lot. But hey, at least he was a... Bit of a punching bag. Cause let's face it, you can do all these things solo if you really wanted to. As my big giant axe is showing. Little late. Little late, Dana, but thanks for trying. Listen to me. No, Matilda. You should rest. I'll tell him. No, I will. Scad. I never wanted to give up my freedom to become a priestess. 
Erwin only wanted to free me from a life beyond bound by rules. Wake up! Do you still believe that demon's lies? Did you ever consider how Erwin would use your powers once he took them from you? That's enough! And you need to rest. But you never took me seriously. Not even when we were kids. Well, listen now. I'm not going to stand idly by while that demon grows stronger. Only the heavenly silence comforts me. Don't say such a thing. This is getting more and more complicated, but now we're starting to see things. What we don't know is what Erwin is or has done. Red carpet. Really? <laughs> That's what you took from this? <laughs> we fought a giant ghost. We're dealing with demons and fairies and pissed off undead guys and you're talking about a red carpet. A cat-eared woman and a long-haired man got into a fight and a grandma was kidnapped. Then the two found the grandma. This kind of thing happens all time I guess all right then but hey we did the thing I did what I said I was going to do multiple things per episode and we're gonna keep going next time thanks for watching